Hey guys, this is Carla Johnny 32 and I want to do a quick video on this post I did back in November of last year. And the post is that Jesus is just a, is a complete cure for suicide prevention. Before I continue, just want to let you guys know that I am not a pastor or a woman pastor, not biblical. I am not a prophet or an apostle or anything like that. I'm just a fumbling servant of the Lord that worships the Lord in truth, which is his Bible and only his Bible, and in spirit. So I am baptized in the Holy Spirit. I do speak in tongues among other prophetic gifts. A lot of Christians are walking with that anointing that in itself is biblical. And if you have any questions regarding this post, I definitely encourage you to um, um, uh, go to the Lord Jesus, ask him yourself, pray to him, and just wait for his revelation and confirmation. For more knowledge on the on the spiritual gifts that I mentioned uh, just a, a, a few seconds ago, uh, I encourage you to read 1 Corinthians chapter 12. So, uh, on this particular post, um, I wanted to do a quick video because a suicide and depression or oppression is very, very prevalent in the, in the world today, especially among our youth in our, in our country and, of course, adults. And you see a lot of celebrities that are also suffering from that and even taking their own lives. And I can tell you this uh, with, a, with a, a more, how do I say it? I can tell you this from a personal perspective because I've been in, I've been in in this walk before. I've suffered for, with depression, and oppression, and anxiety, and security for over a decade. Almost three years ago, I was on the brink of committing suicide, and then the Lord Jesus Christ saved me, and He casted out my demons, and He has set me free. And this is what I want for you. So I just want to be very transparent about the subject. Um, for those that are hurting right now, if you're watching this, I want you to know that I love you. Jesus Christ loves you, whether you know Him or not. He is madly in love with you, and He wants to set you free. And you don't have to live in, in pain like this anymore you know just call out to him uh, go to him repent of your sins sin no more and let Jesus into your heart and you will see how he's gonna just blow you away with so much love and so much peace it's just the most beautiful peace you have ever ever had in your whole life uh, I'm living proof of it and I just want to share that with you that there uh, that Jesus Christ is the only cure for suicide prevention so some quick stats um that I wanted to share with you really quickly. Uh, you can definitely also go to the page. There's a, a, a more information there on this particular post. But suicide is the 10th leading cause of death in the U.S. For, for all ages. Every day, approximately 105 Americans die by suicide. There is one death by suicide in the U.S. every 13 minutes. And depression affects 20 to 25% of Americans ages 18 plus in a given year. Okay, suicide takes the lives of over 38,000 Americans every year. So um, one thing I want to emphasize here is the following. I've seen there's a pattern here, uh, especially among, um, you know, especially in the church. I was very surprised, but it's happening. And I saw one, I saw, uh, I'm not going to mention the ministry or the pastor with that ministry, but when I was making this post, I saw on his Facebook page that he was talking about the topic of depression and suicide. And here he is, a spirit-filled, I don't think he's led, pastor. And he is promoting books from the medical and psychological perspective. And the Bible clearly says, what does um, light have to do with darkness? And the answer is absolutely nothing. So my whole point is, what does a Holy Spirit-filled pastor have anything to do with promoting secular you know, books from atheists and medical uh, experts and psycholog psych psychologists or psychiatrists, absolutely nothing. All right, all those books, uh, you know, um, they are nothing but counterfeit solutions to a person that is on the brink of suicide. When you are so, so deep in pain and you want out, okay, and you, you want, you, you have the sense of urgency to be liberated from your pain, trust me, uh, Dr. Fit, Do Dr. Phil, Dr. Oz, um, psych some psychological dear Abby is not going to serve you any good. It's not going to help you. Okay. Uh, a lot of people, um, you know, a lot of people don't, do not know where these things come from, but I can tell you that these attacks, these feelings are all demonic. Okay. Um, when I made this post back in November, I remember that I was constantly praying against this demonic spirit of death in the form of suicide that was attacking so many people. I remember that, you know, uh, having suffered from, uh, you know, those demons of depression, oppression, anxiety, and security. I've also suffered from demonic attacks. At the time, I did not know what, what they, uh, they were demonic attacks, but I suffered from um, claw marks and fingerprints on my body, on my, on my torso, on the side of my back, a handprint on my back back in 2006. Uh, I had sleep paralysis. I, I had choke holes in my sleep. I had uh, 
you know, just pressures against my chest and my sleep and all those things were demons. And I know I've talked to a lot of Christians out there who have gone through the same and similar experience. Uh, at the time, they didn't know also that it was demonic and now that they're Christians and their, their spiritual blinders came off, they realized that those were all spiritual attacks. And that is happening as of today. It's happening every day. And a lot of people do not know where it's coming from. And I want you to know three truths here because this has nothing to do with you. You are, you know, uh, you are normal, okay? And all the demonic thoughts, and demonic attacks and the depression or that's a, that's associated with it it has nothing to do with you okay um, I can tell you before I, I you know as I continue this message I want you to know that the topics of suicide and depression are very personal to me because I've been there okay and my heart breaks when I see millions of you know millions of people thousands of people that are suffering from this and you know oftentimes people want to disguise their pain behind their Facebook page behind their pictures they want to hide it behind makeup or their clothes or they do drugs or they alcohol, they go shopping, they do, they have gambling addictions, or sometimes they go on vacations to escape. And I want you to know that the, the escaping and the numbing of your pain can stop right now if you open your heart to Jesus Christ. Here are some quick truths that I want you to know about you, okay? Number one, the, the, the first truth is there's nothing wrong with you. Okay, so you are a precious child of the Lord Jesus Christ. Whether you know him or not, whether you believe in him or not, guess what? He knows everything about you. He knows your life. He knows your past, present, and future. And all he is waiting for you is to call out his name and just ask him to help you. Ask him to ask him to uh, forgive you of your sins and sin no more because he has wonderful plans for your life. And I speak life over you right now. In the book of Jeremiah 29 verse 11, it states, For I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. Truth number two your suicidal tendencies and depression are caused by satan period okay and he sends out his demons his army of demons to attack you to torment you day in and day out because why because he wants your soul all right number three truth number three if you want the bleeding to stop right now i want you to know that there's a guy named jesus who is madly in love with you and he wants to set you free right now okay what do you have to do just call out his name ask him to forgive you of your sins and just have a relationship with, have a relationship with him. Get a Bible if you don't have one. You know, if you need one, message me else, and I'll be more than happy to send you one. Okay, and just go to a church if you need help with finding a church. I'll be more than happy to help you find a church too. And surround yourself with people who are uh, truth and spirit filled believers. Okay, who will pray for you and love on you. Um, one thing I also wanted to quickly address here is the following. Um, you know, pastors, if you are a pastor or a preacher or someone with a ministry or any Christian for that matter, please do yourself a favor, okay? Do the church a favor. Stop promoting secular books, medical books, um, books from psychologists and psychiatrists that talk about the, the topic of depression and suicide, okay? Those are nothing but counterfeits. It's not going to help your people. I remember I saw that one page of that pastor, uh, and he was promoting these books. And when I looked at, when I Googled these books, and I Googled the authors of these books, they were all atheists. Why is a Christian pastor promoting uh, books from atheists to its to its uh, audience on Facebook? Uh, you know, obviously there's no discernment. Uh, I'm not questioning his intent, but I, you know, but I am questioning, you know, um, the results that are leading to that, okay? And the reality is when you have people that are ailing and, and, they're, and they're being afflicted with pain and depression and suicide, you need the, you need a solution. You need a cure, and the cure is Jesus Christ. Lead people, give them the Word of God, which is more powerful than a two-edged sword, and let them just lead them to Christ by by like leading them to the, to the Bible and getting baptized in the Holy Spirit, okay? Um, so I think it's time, church, that we need to really have an authentic conversation uh, about the critical issues that are affecting our church as of today. Uh, a lot of people are walking with a lot of depression and they're suffering from a lot of strongholds, addictions, and curses. Uh, and, and just, uh, you know, they're also dealing with a lot of spiritual warfare. And this is why it's imperative that the church right now, uh, as a whole, in, in a corporate basis and in an individual basis, we need to worship the Lord in truth, His Bible. If you have not finished reading His Bible, you're in trouble, okay? Also, we need to be walking and get baptized in the Holy Spirit. It it is through the Holy Spirit that allows us to defeat the devil. It allows us to rebuke and bind the devil. It allows us to, you know, uh, to trample over snakes and scorpions. It allows us, it's by the Spirit of God, the Spirit of Jesus Christ, that we have the anointing, the fire, and the power to cast out demons from people. Okay, I've seen demons being casted out. If you don't believe me, what I'm telling you, that's your business. I don't lie, okay? This stuff is real. If my own demons got casted out three years ago, 
I, I cannot afford to debate with someone who doesn't believe in it. The reality is spiritual warfare is real. If you don't believe in it, whether you're a Christian or not a Christian, go to Ephesians chapter 6 and it talks about spiritual warfare. Okay, this stuff is real. And I can tell you from experience, in addition to myself, I had a church in D.C., my church family. I saw my own church friends who were spirit-filled, Holy Spirit, tongue-speaking Christians, okay, with the anointing of God. They had their own demons get casted out. Okay, and it's not a big deal. What you know, people think. Oh, it's so scary. No, it's not that scary. Okay, um, I, I I've seen de when, when the demons were cast out of my friends. Uh, I I smell pestilence break out. I I heard demons growl. Okay, and I saw some of my friends. They were foaming at the mouth. Okay, it's not a big deal. But the beautiful thing of that situation is that once the demons were cast out, they were set free. The glory of God came over them. The glory, the peace, the joy, and the freedom of Jesus Christ were on my friends. And they were set free from their pain, from their struggle, from their strongholds, from their demons and spirits. And this why this is why, church, that we need to have deliverance calls at every service. Okay? It is important. This is why we need to ask the Lord, Lord, open up my spiritual eyes. Give me the gift of, a, of visions, of dreams. Let me walk in that prophetic anointing. If there are people in this church who need their demons to be casted out, their demons of suicide, depression, strongholds, curses. Lord, please baptize me in the Holy Spirit. Open up my eyes, Lord Jesus, and just set them free in Jesus' name. This is what God wants us to do. All right? So remember, when we minister to people, let's just give them the love of Christ. There's There are five things that I definitely want to, um, I want to emphasize here is the following. Number one, when we minister to people, we should do the following. Number one, worship the Lord Jesus Christ in truth and in spirit. Once again, his Bible and in spirit. Number two, ask the Lord to activate the fruits of the Holy Spirit. We love them like Jesus loves them. Okay, ask the Lord to give us his eyes, his heart, and his ears to minister to his people. Number three, ask the Lord for the spiritual gifts. I already told you about that. The words, the anointing, the fire, the power, the revelation, the wisdom, and the knowledge. Ask the Lord to break their chains, their curses, their, and cast out their demons in Jesus' mighty name. Number four, tell the Lord to teach us to be humble to, and to be honest and to be hungry for his word, you know, for him and his Holy Spirit. And, and, and remember, it's all about him. It's all for him. It's for his kingdom and his glory. And the last bullet point here, let's just speak life, truth, blessings, and the favor of Jesus over these people's lives, destinies, and callings. Because you know what? A person that's suffering from depression, okay, we need to, it's with the authority. The, the word, the, the Bible says that the, the, the mouth can bless or curse. So let's bless them. Let's use the authority of Jesus Christ to break those chains and those demons off these people in Jesus' name. All right? Listen, um, if you need prayer, Feel free to message me. I'll be more than happy to pray for you. Okay, let's just, church, uh, let's just come together as a body of Christ. Let's be truth and spirit worshipers of the Lord. Let's uh, help people by giving them the word of God. Okay, the word of God is a fire. It's a hammer. Okay, stop. Let's put everything away and just give them the word of the Lord. All right, because remember, demons flee at the name of Jesus. And I hope this message has blessed you. Feel free to share this video with your friends and family. Like I said, if you need prayer, be more than happy to pray for you. Just message me and just I'll do that for you okay take care be blessed love you all and remember that jesus loves you and he is just so madly madly in love with you he wants to set you free all right so take care i'll talk to you soon Bye bye